neighbor walks in and knocks on my door in Hawaii. He's like, hey, I noticed, you know, you've been doing a lot of screaming in the middle of the day. You've been doing a lot of yelling. Like, I just wanted to make sure that nothing bad was happening in here. And I was like, oh, don't worry. I just have seven underage women locked in my basement. You know, we both laughed about it. And then he was like, no, but actually, like, what's going on in there? And I said, take a gander at my 15-inch anaconda and tell me how easy it would be if you had something like this and you had to lug it, lug it out of bed every single morning. Tell me how you would handle that, sir. And he's like, oh, shit, what is that? I'm so, I'm so sorry, sir. I never noticed this python that you have attached to your leg. You Look know, we had dude. a couple of laughs. We went and got drinks after. I clapped his cheeks. Okay. You know how it is. I gotta edit that out, man. For those of you who wonder what my neighbors think, that's what my neighbors think, based on true events. Yo, look, I know that the sheesh thing is kind of dying. The sheesh. <laughs> But I just want to say I'm so grateful that I had a good two month run with it because that was so cool. I love that. Oh. You know it's a Wheel of Mud intro when I haven't talked about anything relevant for two straight minutes, Matthew. <laughs> overall. Not bad. Burrow's still a GOAT. Dalvin Cook, Michael Vick, Reggie Wayne, who had a touchdown last game, Julio Jones, Prime Time, Goddard, Dan Arnold, Mark Lowinski, Matt Paradis, James Daniels, Dubrika Shaw, Night Train Lane Free Safety, Jamal Adams Strong Safety. The team is coming together. James Smith Williams, we gotta get you out of there. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? Tommy Harris is actually pretty solid. Might keep him. Actually, none of my linebackers are great. KJ Wright is so, he's got like 86 speed. I I hate getting on him. Balls, bro. Anthony Walker is all right, but I just gave Anthony Walker Enforcer instead of Deflator because I gave Edge Threat back to TJ Watt. So I have Edge Threat, TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, and then some Acrobats, Enforcer, Deflator, Jamal Adams, Enforcer, Anthony Walker. It'll work. Plus, golden tickets are out and have been out. I have wheel spins that can get me them, but I'm yet to land on one. So we'll see what happens. Whoa! Dude, the we there are so many options on this wheel. I don't think I've ever had this many options on the wheel as we have right now. It's the college wheel. The college wheel is a jackpot, but it's the most wishy-washy jackpot in the world. I could get Alabama and I have 100 options. I could get Southern Methodist University and I have no idea who goes there. So, all right, boys, it's all gonna come down to where, oh, high number, high number, high number. Yes, 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 Auburn, Georgia, Florida, yes. Oh my God, Florida! Florida's Tim Tebow. I can do golden ticket Tim Tebow. No. Why do I say things like that? Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is Florida too, wasn't he? I get a new tight end. I wouldn't mind Kyle Pitts. That'd be kind of cool, actually. There's a lot of options. Holy shit. So, I'm seeing Trent Brown. Trent Brown has like a 98 overall right tackle card. John Bostic. Joe Hayden has a good card. I'm doing Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts, the Florida college team jackpot. That's dope. I know Trent Brown was a pick there, but the way I see it is hopefully this next spin I can get a right Right tackle. It might not be the world's greatest right tackle. It might not be a 97 right tackle, but I really want to play with Kyle Pitts. All right, boys. I am definitely going to look really stupid if I cannot finesse a right tackle out of whatever the hell we're about to do here. So work with me. Let's finesse a right tackle out of the... Ah! Ah! I just got two draft players. I could have taken Chart Brown and then my draft jackpot could have been Kyle Pitts. But this is a draft jackpot, so I can get any draft player. There's gold 99s. I might not be getting a right tackle at all. So I could get Teddy Bridgewater. I could get Antonio. Antonio Brown. I could get Cam Chancellor. None of those I need. Keyshawn Johnson would be kind of sick. Tyron Matthews, cool. I don't need him. Joe Thomas is a left tackle. Shit. That would have been really good. Wow, there's some studs out here. Oh, wait, what about Panay Sewell? Do they give Panay Sewell a card? Uh, yeah. Damn, he's also a left tackle. I honestly would rather get him because this is the Lions' first overall pick. I'm going to go with Panay Sewell. I'm sure he will perform just as well as Joe Thomas. They're like an overall different. So I just got two of the rookies who just got drafted. I still got to get my dub, obviously. But let's put Benet Sewell at left tackle. Oh, shit. I forgot it was Debrickashaw. Debrickashaw is still going to be in. Don't worry. He's technically boosted to a 99 with West Coast, but it just doesn't show up. So we're a 91 overall now. We have locked in a left tackle, right tackle, right guard center. Well, not locked in. I still have to win. And then Kyle Pitts and Dallas Goddard at 10. And so lots of offensive upgrades here. I could have, I definitely could have made some defensive upgrades with the options I had there, but I went balls to the wall on offense. Let's hop into this game. We have three and two. Kind of ugly, but the team is only getting better. So I think we can definitely get a dub. We have four more wins right now until the playoffs. Four more wins. Let's get one of those dubs right now. All right, challenge wheel is coming up. Gold tickets are packs. 
If I could pull something insane with my pack from the challenge wheel, that would be insane. I have never completed that. Oof. I got so close one time to this one. He's got RG3, Sam Mills, Dion Jones. Nice squad. We're gonna play some good Madden today, boys. And we need 10 receptions, 200 yards, and one touchdown with one of our players. It's either gonna be Kyle Pitts or Julio. Okie dokie, I am gonna take an absolute deep bomb shot to prime time here to start this game out. Maybe. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Why was it so open? Is primetime wide receiver really gonna be the one who completes the challenge today? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it is with that play. All right, so the most obvious option for him to guard is primetime, so I'm gonna throw Kyle Pitts. Wait, he's not there. Oh, I gotta step up. I gotta step up! <laughs> Joe Burrow is gonna walk into two points. I mean, we are 10 seconds into the game. It is eight to zero. Let's go. I think he's gonna want to return to sender. No, he just throws underneath. Darn it. I wanna hit him early and hard with Jamal Adams. That's how you get those fumbles, bro. I just can't let him shell me over the top right here. No. Get to the QB. No way. No way! And he caught it. That was impressive. He does not have secure protector on Aaron Donald's side. So we're gonna try and go hard right there. Okay, decent stop. Ooh, read option! RG3 gets lit up, but hangs on to the ball. All right, I'm gonna blitz out the middle and I'll go on night train lane. His own team, the angle route from his hat back. <laughs> Wait, that was so clutch. He's gonna go for it, presumably. We might be able to determine the game right here if we can get a stop. Oh, what a laser. Wow, he stood in that pocket and delivered a great pass. Well played. We gotta make a big play here. Ooh, huge hit. Von Bell lights him up, but it's not enough. I'm run committing. Yes! Perfect run commit! Holy shit, that was ballsy. The bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. He might go for it again. Yup. Definitely my lane. I could have just called the timeout, honestly. Probably what I should have done, just to reset the defense, but... I mean, I do have a one-point lead still. I have a possession lead, despite us both having a touchdown. So that's kind of clutch. Yeah, that first touchdown isn't very indicative of how good my offense is going to be, though. It was kind of just like a cheese. I don't know how the hell I did it, even. All right, we're just gonna hit Julio for some free yards here, clean. I might just keep running this play. PA deep outs, if anyone was wondering. These deep posts are really, really good, but it's like, I'm not good enough at Madden to know when they're really good. It's just every once in a while, it's a free touchdown. I think he was in man coverage though, and it just burnt the man. There's lots I could throw here, and none that I will. I keep forgetting how fast that clown is. I should have taken off earlier with Burrow, but I got too scared of throwing a stupid pass, so. I'm gonna go Julio on this. Julio, what a playmaker, holy shit. Three for three, 123 yards and a touchdown for Burrow. Julio's got a lot of yards, Primetime's got a lot of yards. As far as my challenge goes, I'm not playing this right because I'm, I'm sharing these yards too much. But it's not really a choice so much as he's open. Julio, three receptions, 54 yards. I gotta get Julio a touchdown. This is an inside zone formation. I keep running play action, I think. My actual run will work here. Yeah, he's got no inside stuff. I'm actually just gonna hand this off to Dalvin. It's like the last thing he expected because I did that same play action play so many times. I'm gonna do it again. Ooh, great blocking, boys. I wouldn't mind scoring quickly. Oh, is that not Julio? Julio's not in. I'm gonna go, I think this is man coverage. Pits, Pits in the, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank God he went up. I'm gonna try and hit Julio here. Take off. Take off, let's go! He tried to switch off, unsuccessful. And that's the two minute warning. We got first and goal. If I can get a touchdown, go for two and get it. Holy shit, a two possession lead. Or I just take my one and force him to get two. It'd be kind of greedy to do it, but we'll just have to see. 
Dalvin to the edge is there. He, I can't believe he switched off for that tackle. Second and goal. I'm just going Dalvin up the middle. And we got it. Easy. Great running. All right. Dalvin with another one. I'm not going to be greedy. I think there's going to be a lot more touchdowns in this game. I'm just going to take my one. Great offense. And honestly, what I'm most happy about is we got a lot of receptions, a lot of yards with Julio. If we can finesse a Julio touchdown and get this challenge done, finally get over the hump of completing this challenge, that'd be fire. That's literally what I was trying to follow. My problem right now is when I run this defense, he runs the ball on me so well. I fixed it. Oh, okay. Are we really gonna- Nope. Lucky ass. Actually though, I had that shit. I'm bummed, bro. Okay, again, again. You're gonna test me twice, voice crack shit. Again. No way! No way! No way! Are we really gonna get a range class? Let's go! 90 overall squad successfully pulls off the range quit. Good shit, boys. That is four wins. A huge dub. His one offensive drive was so good. I can't believe that he just like started taking end zone shots. He could not stay composed. Dude, that is huge though because the rage quit wheel, I just updated it. It's crispy. And we locked in Panay Sewell, my boy, and Kyle Pitts. Let's spin the rage quit wheel here. Adam, I'll save you. No, we'll Thank spin, you. whatever, recording. We're, we're gonna get whatever we get right here. I can't see it quite yet. So I have no idea if it's good or not. It's holy shit! Holy shit! Let's go! Okay, the only thing, I cannot choose this golden ticket. It has to be completely random. I haven't even thought about it. I never thought I'd get this spin. I don't know how I'm gonna determine this. So let's just go program golden ticket. And then I might just have Siri pick a random number between like one through 50 and I'll just keep scrolling. So let's talk about the good and the bad. The bad, I think, is a quarterback. That's the only bad thing. Because I love Joe Burrow, he plays great. There's no reason I need to upgrade Joe Burrow. That's the only bad thing we can get here. All right, so you guys are gonna see this, not hear it. So I just reset the auction house. It's on only time remaining, not by now, because that'd be unfair. Hey Siri, pick a number one through 100. What is that? 70, can you guys see that? 74. 74, okay, so here's how this works. So Derek Carr's one, RG3's two, Delpit three, Tebow four, Jalen Rager's five. Then Roberson is six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm just gonna count down five, 10, 15, 20, till we get to the 70s, and then we're gonna figure out who's at slot 74, and that's our golden ticket, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70, 40, Taylor Rager! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, 98 speed? Holy shit! He's gonna be 99 off the jump. He gets a deep threat ability, a route runner, a physical, a slot, and a returner. He gets one ability for each wide receiver archetype. Holy shit. Let's go! That could've been such an L, bro. I, not that it could ever have been an L. I know it's golden tickets, but like, bro. I could've gotten clowny again, and then we all would've been fighting in the comments for the next year. And next episode, we're gonna have our first ever golden ticket. We're a 92 overall. We just added a... Dude, my offense just got super powered, bro. Oh my God. Kyle Pitts, Jalen Rager, Panay Sewell. I am so excited. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Banger of an episode, despite an early rage quit, honestly. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.